Say hello to traveler -san. Through the creative use of game mechanics, and at times glitches, we're on a quest to see just how much of Genshin Impact can be completed using only the Traveler. And we sometimes... Okay, no, we pretty much always break things. If you enjoyed the series, do make sure to like and subscribe. It helps Traveler sign out a lot. The Inazuma Archon Quest we began our journey in this land long ago at Adventure Rank 7, and after one heck of a sidetrack, we've returned, with Aminoma Kageuchi finally in hand, to finish the job. You must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <laughs> oh well, that was many moons ago, back when we first crossed the Inazuma Trench, far beneath the ocean. Impressive that she knows about all this. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. Toma, you... You just validated my entire Genshin journey with your words. My dude! Thank you for understanding. You have earned yourself a spot on traveler sans list of awesome people. If you ever find yourself in a tight spot, let's say you need saving for whatever reason, traveler sans got your back. Are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. I don't think those are visions. Forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. Over the sea? That's not how I remember it. Alright, that's enough reminiscing about past exploits. I've done so much in Inazuma that we'd be here all day if I recapped everything. But, well, something had to fill the first 80% of Inazuma's Act 1, as there's a whole lot of nothing but talk. Let's skip to the meat of it. The Prison Break Domain. And then skip that too. Because, who doesn't love a good domain skip? You see that quest marker over there? And you see this door here? That marker isn't going to move. This door isn't going to open. Despite that, this domain will be finished in a few short seconds. I love old domains. They really don't make them like they used to. If you're screaming at your screen right now about how I skipped a bunch of treasure chests, I did get some of them while researching the domain and how to break it. Navigating out of bounds in Inazuma domains is tough. There are many fake walls and floors that'll send you on a one-way trip Show me what you've got. to the void. It's also incredibly difficult to get one's bearings while out of bounds. The window in the ceiling above the door was the only way for me to pinpoint my location. And as you can see as we backtrack after the cutscene, the door is still closed. It remains as such even when the exit appears. <laughs> cool. And now we have some interludes. The Ayaka and Yoimiya story quests. We could go through those and you could witness how much I bullied Ayaka with Starfell Sword. But because these quests are both all talking plus one small fight, I'd much rather use this time to bring closure to an experiment I started way back in Episode 4. To briefly recap, the stage is Yashiori Island, that one plagued by an endless storm, and the quest is Orobashi's legacy. The goal of the experiment? Steal all orbs from within the storm barriers without dispelling them and attempt to repair the wards. While I did manage to steal all the orbs in much earlier episodes, I was unable to repair the wards because the quest could not be started. This is because Inazuma was not officially unlocked by way of completing the Archon Quest prologue. With the quest unlocked now that I'm legally in Inazuma, 
Let's see if we can get the storm barriers to remain after repairing all the wards and stopping the storm. It'll only take a moment, too. <laughs> Just gotta place the orbs in the wards. That's a good sign. The barrier remains after its ward is repaired. No, oh, <laughs> hello there. How are we doing this fine stormy evening? I see that you woke up and chose violence. Okay, the Shogun's getting in some cheap shots before our fight. I much prefer the Stormy Island, but it is kinda cool seeing a place with just thick overcast in Genshin. It's a wonder why they don't use this skybox more often in other areas for more dynamic weather. I'm dead. Ah, right. This one is tricky. Had to climb in from out of bounds. There, that was... the last of them. No? One more? This is actually the first time I've done this quest. Didn't expect there to be a hidden fourth barrier. There's the orb and the ward. How to get in there? I think I'm going to have to outrun a disconnect, much like I used to get some Dendroculus early in the Sumeru Desert. The problem is that the unload trigger for the barrier is quite far away. And with all this water preventing me from running, huh, if I can't run the full distance and swimming is too slow, then... Wouldn't gliding be faster? This kind of trick is often less straightforward than it would seem. The devs have been getting better at placing important unload triggers for things like doors and barriers far enough away that attempting to bypass them with this trick takes longer than you're able to safely disconnect before you're teleported back to your original location. But if one looks hard enough, they'll find a path to punch a hole through it, such as here where I use the Electrogranum to fly high, and far enough away that the barrier unloaded before disconnecting. This let me only have to glide a short distance to land, where I could sprint and bunny hop my way into the barrier. That's not to say this was easy by any means. It was on the cusp of being too long. Because of that, it took about 30 tries. But there we go. Let's nab the orb and repair the... I can't repair it. The warding stone is supposed to be on the ground here, but it seems it won't spawn until the boss is defeated. Said boss, Mr. Magu Kenki, won't wake up. I suppose I have no choice but to dispel one of the barriers. You know, it just occurred to me that this is a boss surrounded on all sides by deep water. What do you think might happen if I pushed the boss into it? Will they get instantly KO'd? Will they vanish without a trace after taking max damage like Rana? <laughs> Let's find out. That's a bummer. It's like the game isn't letting the boss fall past a certain point because their feet are not touching the bottom. Made a video documenting this if you're interested in the full experiment. Now then, let's defeat the boss. Repair the ward, finish the quests, and check on those barriers. Well, I'll be. They do remain. Some games would have wiped remaining assets after completing the quest. That Genshin doesn't, much like we saw with the sequence broken Sacred Sakura quest, is one of the reasons messing with this game is so darn fun. The uniqueness of Yashiori Island may be gone, but at least I was able to keep a remnant of its much more awesome, stormy version. With the closure of the Orobashi Legacy experiment, all of my unanswered questions from episodes 3 to 5 have been resolved. Except for one.
How odd. I was just wandering around Seirai Island, working on getting the amethyst I needed to forge those five copies of Aminoma Kageuchi, when I acquired this key. I, for one, cannot believe the game remembered and kept track of this. Remember when I opened that chest back in episode 4? The chest that is supposed to give the intact key that opens this door in the Seirai Maru? That's this intact key. I can only guess that, with Inazuma now legally unlocked, the final flag is set and the key can be spawned. I thought for sure this thing was gone forever. Well, one more key for the collection. Anyways, let's get back to pushing bosses. What, thought I was done with that? <laughs> well no, I'm never done with that. Because we're about to push the ride of Shogun off a cliff. A fate well deserved for a tyrant like herself. <laughs> Toma, buddy, I got you. But mind if I borrow this for a while? Tired of swirling pyro into stuff. You stay right there. <laughs> Don't worry about what I'm doing. Let me just climb the barrier. Yeah, Terra Smash. This is problematic. I need to aggro her somehow, but I'm unable to use Harpastum. Maybe if I move around to her side of the arena? No dice. Aha! <laughs> there we go. Just had to get really close to the barrier, to the point that it almost pulled me back in. Teleport yourself out here, hurry up, or we're sending you on a one-way trip off the map. To the void where child is said to still roam. How unfortunate. It would appear they patched her ability to teleport beyond the barrier. I guess I actually am done with pushing bosses. Dang, and guess I should have done this years ago when I had her outside the barrier on my main account. Oh well, I'm sure I can still find some way to break her. Whoa, <laughs> crazy how far that attack of hers goes. Instabilities will be removed. There's the move that seals skills and bursts, which does nothing to the almighty traveler. You are that which is furthest from eternity. Exceptional. You're loaded in, you're loaded out. You're loaded in, you're loaded out. This is what I wanted to see. You're broken, aren't you? You can't even attack me. Come on, eh? What's the matter? Paralyzed with fear? Okay, seriously, she's stuck like this, and since apparently she has infinite health, this fight can no longer progress. Let's void out and see what happens upon reloading. Well, she's acting again, but the fight remains broken. I've been running around the arena for about five minutes with no sign of her readying the attack that triggers the end cutscene. It may not have been the awesome outcome I wanted of pushing her off the cliff, but nice to know the battle can still be broken to some degree, and that you can still get out of the arena. The surrounding area is super cool. Okay, let's reset, play the battle normally, and prepare for the hardest challenge of not just the Inazuma Archon Quest, but perhaps of Genshin Impact as a whole. <laughs> Pressure getting to you? That's no way to demonstrate. Come on, try again. Let's go. Show us what you got. Next time, archery training with only Geo Traveler. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Traveler San. The Inuzuma Archon Quest is finally underway. And because there's a lot I want to showcase and cover, this one will be a three parter. 
do make sure to subscribe to catch the rest of the Archon Quest. And feel free to follow me on Twitter where you can catch sneak peeks of content and whatever else I find worth sharing. This is Musashi and Traveler-san signing off. Till next time.